Okay, he's going to fan his tail out and preen up. A peregrine falcon. Good looking bird. He's getting his backside all dried off now. Let's see if we can get him from the front side. Oh, yeah, he's down here by the Boeing Aerospace Pond. And we were just driving by and happened to see him up on the light pole. And we had a good wind last night. It blew everything around the area, so... Today, the sun's out, the sky's getting blue, and no breeze, no rain, and we're out watching our birds, and we got a peregrine falcon preening up. We're excited about it. We've been looking for this guy for a while, I'll tell you that. We're so happy to find him, or her, whichever the case is. We find him here on a frequent basis. Oh, going to do the tail now. Right off to his uh, right side is the field he hunts. His puddles, he takes his bath. It's a good spot for hunting. You can get ducks and other and small birds there also. But they have hunted here for years and uh, it's one of our favorite spots. We have excellent lighting today. Oh yeah, I got those wings out a little bit here. He's just moving around. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some great bird watching now. There are peregrine falcon printing up. Again, we're down by the Boeing Aerospace Pond, Kent, Washington. It's one of our hot spots where we do our bird watching and this is where we find our raptors. There was a flock of geese by, he looked at them <laughs> right through it. Peregrine's gonna preen up and we get to watch them do the wings and get all squared away. We're driving around looking for the eagles, we found them also. So. Finding plenty of birds today. We're always lucky when we find the peregrine falcon, especially when they're preening up like this. He's giving us a good view. All his head markings and markings on the back. My goodness. Watch him, see how much he's, he's looking down at something. Now, what does he see? He's really looking. Well, back to preening. We like it when we find him. Watch the bicyclers go by. And most of our birds here are pretty well urbanized. They're used to people, so it ain't much scares them. Complete makeover on these feathers, doing a great job. We like that. Now he's doing the wing. Got their oil gland, they get a little oil on their beak, draw the feather through there and waterproof their feathers. So. A lot of birds in the area right now. A lot of starlings and food for them. And they have no problem getting fed in this area. This is the one that's been hanging around the natural resource area also. So, if you hike the trails there, you get lucky and find them. We're lucky to see them preen up, getting those feathers all squared away, putting on a wonderful show for us. Gonna stay busy, that's for sure. All right then. 